metformin, SGLT2 inhibitors, and DPP4 inhibitors, and even the AGIs. These are the molecules which do not cause hypoglycemia. Now, if they are used in people who are already on insulin and sulfonylureas, they may precipitate hypoglycemia because of the onboard sulfonylurea or insulin. So, as far as the hypoglycemia is concerned, it is not a challenge when you are using uh, linagliptin and uh, dabagliflozin combination. If it is there, it is because of the sulfonylurea or insulin which is already on. Linagliptin as a, a monotherapy, as an addition to metformin or as an addition to even dapagliflozin has been shown that it, it, it causes very minimal uh, uh, episodes of hypoglycemia. In linagliptin should be, could be preferred in wide range of type 2 diabetic patients. In fact, there, in, in most of the diabetic patients, you can use linagliptin and dapagliflozin in combination very easily. Hypoglycemia is very, very common uh, once kidney disease sets in because uh, once uh, GFR starts decreasing, the overall requirement of the uh, uh, oral hypoglycemic agents goes down. Even the insulin goes down and that is because of the increased half-life of the insulin uh, because uh, your excretion, physiological excretion to the kidneys is decreased. So in such situations, uh, most oral hypoglycemic agents uh, like uh, sulfonylureas, uh, uh, which are one of the most common or uh, uh, most common agents prescribed, they will have a, a very high risk of uh, producing hypoglycemia unless doses are modified appropriately. But such risks are uh, manageable and are not uh, very significant with DPP4 inhibitors. And with HGLT2 inhibitors, we hardly see uh, hypoglycemia. Uh, so uh, uh, they are uh, one of the safest agents to be used and there is a high elevated risk of hypoglycemia and uh, 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 chronic kidney disease.